real question is, are you understanding the seven lampstands? Are you understanding the brightness that shines forth when we put forth the kingdom? We want to ask ourselves, are we understanding the candlesticks? Are we understanding the spiritual heavenly realm? Are we taking this time to note what the Messiah had spoke of when he tried to explain to the Pharisees as he walked into the temple in Jerusalem? And he said, I speak to my sheep, they hear my voice, and they follow me, but you do not believe. You see all these false prophets, all these ones that are speaking these doctrines of untruth at the synagogue of Satan constantly, teaching the deception of not just prosperity, but teaching lies and deception on how to speak and how to understand the truth of the red lettering in the Holy Word. They don't want to take what's truth that the Messiah walked and spoke and taught about his father's kingdom was at hand. And even then, 2,000 years ago, it was at hand. That the day of the Lord is fastly, quickly approaching this world. And then we sit there and we wonder, Will they even hear the voice that we are speaking with our mouths, that the Holy Spirit is moving us? And as Messiah speaks to us, as Yahushua HaMashiach tells us the way we must, must follow, that he is Christ, that he is at the right hand of his Father. And yet, just as the Pharisees didn't listen, the modern day teachers are not teaching, and the modern day listeners are not listening. They are falling away. They are becoming the lukewarm that is now looking at the light. It's supposed to be nothing but more than mammoth, more than money. Just money, mammoth, and money. Constant teachings of, oh, what is the best car? And what kind of school will you go to? Not that education isn't important, because it is. However, in these days, in these last days, these times before the bride is taken, taken up and meant to meet, Christ in the clouds. What will they ask themselves when they are left behind? Will they ask themselves, what will I wear to see Messiah? What will I be doing when Messiah is coming? No, they will be asking themselves, why didn't we listen? Why? Because they weren't hearing the voice of the Lord. They weren't hearing the voice of the Messiah, the Mashiach. They weren't hearing what the shepherd was speaking. They weren't hearing what the Prince of Peace, the Redeemer, was speaking. They were only hearing what their minds wanted to hear. The God of this world, the ruler of this system, the matrix, the nonsense, the fallacy, the Roman Empire. They were only hearing what the leaders of this world were saying. And we see that the nations cannot even get together because they keep crying out, let's see about a peace talk. There's nothing to see about. My friends, fellow gatherers, we need to understand as we do this conferencing and meeting today, it is not about what they think they can do because they are the gods of this world. They are the system of this world. They are the beast realm of this world. The real question is, why cannot they hear the voice? And again, in John chapter 10, verse 22 through 30, this is where Messiah spoke. He said, you do not believe. You are not of my sheep. You are not of my fold. So you don't hear the voice. This is the question we ask ourselves through this week of the Feast of Dedications. What is happening to our lamp? Is our candlestick lit? Are we understanding that Christ was the Word made flesh? That he came to heaven, born of a virgin, Mary. Was born and conceived in perfection. Lived his life, taught, preached the word of God, his father, Abba, Yahuwah. He was Hashem. He gave his blood and sacrifice as a covering of a multitude of sins. And yet, under the grace of the mercy of the heavenly father, the gracious creator of this all wonderful universe, earth, oceans, the heavens, everything. They still did not hear his voice because they did not believe. They were not of the, the sheep, they were not of the fold. But then in the fourth candle, what happens? As the Holy Spirit moves through many, and it says that the Holy Spirit would be poured over all flesh, that many would dream dreams and have visions. What are we asking? 
asking, what is the calling? Many are called, but few are chosen. Will your candlestick go out, or will you be burning bright? Will you be the light of the world as the Messiah was the light of the world? Will you be the seasoning salt? Or will you fizzle out? Will you become unseasoned and untasting and bitter and angry? These are the questions that are to be asked. And as I close tonight, may I just say, what voice are you listening to? What voice are you hearing? What voice are you following? Are you following the voice of the true Messiah, Yahushua? Are you hearing the call? Are you seeing the ark door open? Because it will soon close and then that will be it. What voice are we following? Are we being deceived by man? Or are we following the voice of the heavenlies? Open your heart. Write the commandments on your heart. Understand the new covenant. Drink the living water where you will thirst no more. And be full in the living bread of the word of the heavenly Father, the most high, Yahuwah. He is the beginning and the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Christ, reigning in power, reigning as king. Are we following the voice? Are we separating from the Babylon? Are we separating? Are we being separated like sheep from goats? Are we being separated like from the wheat, from the tares? These are things to ask ourselves. What are we doing to get more line? And to follow into the narrow gate to everlasting life by following the voice of Messiah. Thank you for joining me this night.